guys, welcome back to my Masterpiece series. So in this episode of Masterpiece, we're going to talk about John Carpenter's original Halloween. So during Halloween night, 1963, a young six-year-old boy, Michael Myers, he decides to brutally murder his older sister, Judith Myers. His parents um, eventually find out about it when they get home, uh, so they sent him to a psychiatric hospital with Dr. Loomis. For about 15 years, uh, Michael eventually escapes, uh, he tries to find his, his baby sister, uh, Lori Strode, to kill her, and then, of course, her friends, Linda and Annie. All right, so let's talk about, of course, John Carpenter's outstanding theme. You know, the Halloween theme? It still, to this day, gives me the chills because it's so creative and, and so inventive, and it just, it works flawlessly. It just, it really is scary. The music is so scary. What made uh, Michael Myers so terrifying, even still today, at least in my opinion, of course, is not knowing anything about him and just not knowing what he was capable of or his background. Well, we as the viewers know his background because we saw the beginning of the film where, you know, um, him being six years old, uh, like brutally murdering his older sister, Judith, you know, we know that, but the victims in the film don't know that. So that's what makes it, makes it so inventive and so terrifying, you know, but that's what made it so, so unique and so cool. And just, it really works flawlessly. I mean, uh, Halloween really did revolutionize the slasher genre as a whole, because before this, you, you obviously had Texas Chainsaw Massacre and Black Christmas and movies like Psycho, but you know, those films kind of set the tone for, for I mean, for like an independent filmmaker like John Carpenter, you know, because who knew that an independent film like this could be a box office success? No one knew that. No one knew that that was even possible back in 1978. I really have to give full credit to John Carpenter for that because barely any independent film can ever be a box office success like this one was you know I'd be, uh, now the budget was about 300 uh, million uh, well 300,000 and it grossed like I believe like like 70 million and that was a success of course because only because of John Carpenter's music yes yeah, so if you don't know uh, John Carpenter did the music as well as the directing I think that's very impressive because usually with most independent film directors they usually like, yeah, they tend to just do the directing and not so much anything else, but not John Carpenter. Let's talk about uh, Jamie Lee Curtis as Laurie Strode. She's like the ultimate scream queen, as everyone says, you know, and I uh, totally, I absolutely agree with that. Yeah, I mean, Jamie Lee Curtis is, I mean, like the ultimate scream queen. Um, she's uh, definitely up there with Heather Lenningcamp, uh, Nancy Thompson, and uh, the original Nightmare on Elm Street. She's definitely up there, for sure, because, you know, it's, it's just, it's really iconic. It really is iconic, and I really respect um, John Carpenter for that. And, you know, like, Jim Lee Curtis, um, her scream is, it just, it feels natural. It doesn't feel um, forced. It doesn't feel um, fake. Or by any means, it just, it doesn't feel overused, it doesn't feel annoying, it just feels like a natural kind of scream that, like, a normal person would scream like. And that's what I really loved about it. It just, it, does, it, just, it feels just right. So let's talk about Donald Pleasance as Dr. Loomis. This is by far Donald Pleasance's best performance he has ever given in any other film, ever. Because you know, Dr. Loomis is really the only person that can really, that can truly stop uh, Michael Myers. Because, like, he's been there, like, for Michael uh, for these past 15 years or so before he escaped, apparently. The only way that Michael can be stopped is because of Dr. Loomis. It's by far the most iconic horror films of all time. Uh, but yeah, John Carpenter is definitely up there with Sean S. Cunningham, Wes Craven. Um, I can name a bunch of others, you know, uh, Stuart Gordon, Stuart Gordon, you know, I can name a bunch, you know, he's definitely up there with, you know, Stanley Kubrick is one of them, you know, yeah, he's up there with a lot of really good directors out there when it came to the horror genre, that is. It sounds like a broken record here, but John Carpenter 
did an outstanding job with the original Halloween. And of course, for that reason, I'm going to give, I mean, Halloween, uh, no question, um, is an A plus movie. No question. Guys, that's my review of Halloween. Hope you guys enjoy this. Hope you guys enjoy the series. Um, I love doing the Masterpiece series. It's it's my opportunity to vocalize my favorite films of all time, and this is definitely one of them. So, hope you guys enjoy this review. Uh, thank you very much for supporting my channel, guys. We always made a lot. Take it easy, guys, and take care, everyone.